Hey everybody, it's Holly Folger from True Beauty Discovery. I'm here today with someone I am so excited to interview. Mary Kate Loftus is president of Impressia Bank, a bank run by women for women. Um, I met her a few weeks ago and I cannot tell you how inspiring she is and how amazing she is. And I want you to meet her and I just want to have a little chat with her. So good morning, Mary Kate. Oh, good morning, Hallie. It's so wonderful to be here. So wonderful to talk to you and talk to you about Impressia Bank. Um, you have been in the financial uh, business for at least 25 years, correct? Mm -hmm. That's right. And in that time, you have, you're a leader in, in, in banking and in, fin in the financial industry, which is amazing to me. And can you talk a little bit about Impressia Bank? Because I was um, made aware of it when I read an article about a bank that was formed to work with women, women-owned businesses, and a bank that tried to understand that gender gap and and be and wanted to shift that and shift that narrative into something far more positive. So, can you talk a little bit about? how Impressia Bank came to be and how you came to be the president. Absolutely. I would love to. So um, Impressia was formed. It's, it's a very interesting story. What happened was, is the um, CEO, uh, Mike Caduzzi, had just joined the bank. And as part of the process, when they say, well, where, where do you see competitive advantages? You know, what's your strategy and how will you um, help meet customer needs? He went on a listening tour. And when he came back, he said, we have amazing, phenomenal women in leadership at this bank. And we see an opportunity in every market that we're in where women are being underserved. And they, he formed a uh, steering committee and they went and they took a year to do it. They did, um, they had research and focus groups and looked at the data and said, where are women um, truly not being helped enough? And when you look at the numbers, what you see is that um, generally women ask for less credit. When they do ask for credit, they don't get approved as often or they get approved at lower dollar amounts. And in addition to that, the overall experience is generally women don't say, I love my bank and I can't wait to talk to my banker. So when you put all that together, he said, we have a great opportunity. So Impressia was formed and um, and I received a call and said, would you like to work in banking and community and with women? And I said, oh my gosh, this is amazing. So what we did was we formed, um, we started the bank and we are really just uniquely focused on women. So like at the event that you and I met at, it is not where you say, come to a seminar and talk about something about banking. Instead, it says, let's bring women together who are like-minded and let's talk about how we can live complete lives. And banking and finances is one part of that. So the difference then between, you know, me going to my bank with mm -hmm. my nonprofit and them, you know, depositing the check, the difference is what you want to do with Impressia is you want to um, provide access to resources for these women-owned businesses, correct? Absolutely. And a great example, um, we are um, really excited. One of the things that we've learned is that women often grant funding money is out there and it's so hard to get either. You, it's hard to figure out where it is. It's hard to apply. The amount of time to get your money is 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 extended. So we said, we're going to figure out a better way to do that for um, for women. Um, so it's really exciting. It's, you know, trying new things and listening and, and learning to see what works. So in terms of uh, banking and, and your interest in the industry, how did that, like, how did that come to be? How did you, because I looked up Impressive Bank and I looked at your why. Mm -hmm. So can you share that with, with, with us a, a little bit? Yeah, absolutely. The, um, mm -hmm. I mean, how I have, like many people who work in the banking industry, they didn't wake up when they were little girls and said, I want to be a banker. Um, but when I, um, but when, as, as you come into it, it's actually a beautiful career because very much like any other wellness, you're, you're trying to help people in one of the most important aspects of their life. Um, you know, my why, I'm a working mom, two children. Um, and I, as I've shared with you, my daughter is in modeling and acting and singing. And, um, and I believe that, um, you know, it's, it's really is like very important to be able to help people in every aspect of their lives. And, and that's my why. Um, the What I do enjoy most um, about what we're doing right now is exactly having conversations like this. Like you are, you are a leader in your own right with your own, you know, you have a very strong why of why you're doing what you're doing. Um, and I just 
love learning from people, hearing these stories and saying, okay, Hallie, if this is your personal mission, how can we help you get there? Where do you see the bank going? I, I know like right now you are in Buffalo. Um, we're just beginning in Buffalo, but in Erie and Cleveland right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so what's the goal? What's the, you know, explain to me, because I, I know that when I talk to one of your partners, Rita, I know mm -hmm. because what I want to do is to work with Impressia Bank, because I said, because I lived in LA for so long, I said, do you want to be on the West Coast? Do you want to? And she said, yes, we do. So mm -hmm. tell me what you like, you know, how you see it. Yep. Well, we are, we are starting um, very intentionally saying, let's start in Erie, let's start in Cleveland. Then we'll, then we'll be in Buffalo as well. And then um, throughout all of our markets that we operate, Columbus, um, uh, you know, Pennsylvania, Penn State area, down South, all the way down to Virginia. Um, but from there, I think what we really want to do is um, not, it's it, because the thing is, is that it's not that we're building a woman's bank. What we're building is a great bank period. We're going to, because it's not about banking, it's about building a community. And um, I know it sounds almost like jargony and, you know, not for real, but that is really for real what, what we're trying to do. So I would say a year from now, um, I would hope that we, let's say in Erie and in Cleveland, we have, I hope, and I believe thousands of women who have said, I love this and I want to be part of it. Um, they love putting their money on deposit at the bank because they know they'll get an awesome, fair uh, bank experience and interest rate and make their money work for them. But they love it because of their money's it's good money. It's going to work for them with a deeper purpose. And they love probably that when a year from now that we have women that are putting, you know, opening relationships and saying, we're going to be joining the community, but they love that Holly is receiving that money <laughs> and sending a <laughs> message. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. like said, I'm not just putting my money in a bank. I'm putting my money where it's going to help somebody else in my community. And that's what I hope. I would, I would love that year, I, you know, a year from now. So I would love to know. So, you know, what are your thoughts? Like you, you have this amazing career. You've been in Hollywood. You came back to your roots. Um, but, you know, where do you think there's a real opportunity to be able to help women like you? You, you mean through the bank? Or just like how to support? Because we're, cause, because we're looking at more broadly even the banking. We're saying this is really a community. I think that, I mean, one of my inspirations to, to start True Beauty Discovery was about the way women are perceived. I mean, it was, it was you know, we do workshops and we work with young, young girls, but part of it was about uh, the perception of beauty and, and what women are subjected to in terms mm -hmm. of perception and who we are and that objectification. And, and so that to me was something that, has always, I've always struggled with that. And I think it's damaging. Mm -hmm. So that that was my inspiration to kind of try to shift the, that narrative and try to change that. And as I began working, and I, as I began researching and creating my business and my company, um, what I found was that women support women when they are given the opportunity. And I think that sometimes that opportunity isn't there and sometimes, uh, or we have to look for it because it's not just, you, you know, I think that as, and as women, we have been used to kind of being in the background a little bit. So I think that to step up, the most amazing thing to me was to be able to see the support that I got when I started my business and, and, and this group of women that as you kind of test the waters and as you and as you begin to explore that, it's amazing and it, it lifts you up. I mean, obviously, the timing with with what you're doing is pretty perfect. So so it's it's and, you know, it's there and we need each other. So I I can't wait to continue to work with you. And, oh, and thank you, better. Holly. And, you too, and I mean, and isn't that amazing, too? There's so many. Um, people, I believe, just coming together and they, and they do want to help each other. Yes. Yep. Uh, so if you could, um, like, I guess if, if you could do, say anything to maybe the young people out there who are, you know, the girls who are interested in, in banking and, and in, you know, numbers and in things that so many times aren't as stressed for, I mean, they are now a little bit more, but but for girls to do, you know, for girls to follow careers like that, any advice, any? 
Yes, absolutely. Um, I believe, and there's, um, if your followers um, haven't ever seen this, there is a, a website and, you know, social media with, it's called the Girl Banker. And I'm prefacing that because she has very um, important messages to young, young people. But um, the, my message, and I have a 13 year old daughter is you can do anything, but the world needs you. You know, the world needs you. And when, when women are opting out of certain careers or different paths, and there's many reasons on why that happens, um, the end result is, you know, banking, finances, science, you need women at the table. And if, and if too many women just say, I'm going to take a different path for whatever reason, um, you end up with an imbalance. So, you know, it's just go test it, learn and be open. So many women bring um, a very different viewpoint. So instead of saying this is, um, a career that's in finance or banking, and this is how it's done. Imagine the impact to say, well, this is how it, how it was done, but imagine if it worked this way. Um, and that, that's what I get excited. I think the next generation is going to be absolutely phenomenal. So everyone that, you know, young teens right now, up to, you know, young adults in college, they have amazing work ethics. They are creative. They are, you know, driven by purpose. And um, so I'm excited to see what, what happens in the next 10 to 15 years as this group becomes older. I love that. Um, yes. So I've loved talking with you. I can't wait to continue to work with you and impress you bank. I, I wish you the, the, the very best. And um, thank you. I think you're amazing. Oh my God. I feel the exact same from the second I saw you. I think what you're doing is very important. And I love the fact that you've had these experiences and you said, I'm going to, to, to I've seen something and I want to make a change in the world. Like amazing, Holly. Thank you. And I want one of your t-shirts. Oh, uh, you've got it. Okay. Just, okay. I'll get your address. All right. So thanks very much for being with us and we will see you soon. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.